There are no props or scams in these videos. I wanted to only use the absolute truth. These devices that you see in this video are hooked to my home and supply power. So, did I debunk over Unity? The answer is yes. Why? Because more power out than in is not a complete definition. It is not a definition at all. Therefore, we have have a greater understanding. I have a very important question for everybody. Did I just debunk over unity? Keep in mind, everything that I've shown you and did is absolutely true without any tricks or trickery or any of that stuff trying to um, bring this myth they call it scientists call it over unity or prove its existence but what i did is show you that this stuff is so common why didn't they show this earlier why didn't they process this for everyone to use because solar and wind power is not that strong so if you can just use a device to turn something from very low voltage, even from one volt, to a very high voltage, to charge batteries, or make a unit that just gives you a constant voltage, this is a constant and it's not constant, it's fluttering and it can't do much, why don't they make these devices better? So we could take something that's very low powered to put back into our grid. So let's again look at this, which we already went through. Look, I'm going to turn this down because someone mentioned this. I'm going to turn this down to what it's supposed to be because I turn it up pretty high. And I'm going to put it right at 12 volts where it's supposed to be. So it's, it's kind of hard there because it's, there it is. See, now go back down to zero. Okay. 12 volts. Now let's look at the watts that this power supply was zoom back out. This whole power supply right here pulls from the grid, which comes from this wire. It takes it from the grid. That's AC power. This is AC power coming down. And this brown cord, and I purposely use this brown cord because so I can find it in all this mess. And go to this watts meter and turn it on. Look at that. 10 watts. 10 watts. Okay. Let's go through the, what we call it, functions. Okay. So you can look at this. There's the voltage, the 120 volts. That's what it's plugged into. There's the amperage. And remember, the zero comes first, then the point. So this is of an amp. Of an amp, not one amp. It is not one amp. Okay? So, we can go through every one of these until we get back to 10.1 watts. That is 12 volts, which then this step up operates on and puts out 48 volts and 8 amps, which goes into this battery, which right now we're draining. And why are we draining this? Because that 105, maybe 4 it's, it's, it's at 105, go back earlier, it's down lower. See how it just ticked up? But that is on the grid. This symbol means it's the grid. So that's pulling the power from the grid. And this wire down here is how it's pulling power from the grid. There's our watt meter, but that cord right there the power supply, this cord, 
goes up to there to this meter. So that 106 watts is powering that right there. Okay? Now, that's putting out his own 120 from its power supply. Okay? So what are we talking about here? What we're seeing is, is that if over unity or what they're calling over unity is just simply more power out than in, then all we would have to do is take this and say, I have 10.1 watts out and what goes in is 105. That's it's, it's self-explanatory. So, why do they call this over unity? They don't. That's what's been debunked. That's not over unity. It's what I've been complaining about. Okay? So, when you start to learn what over unity is, the real over unity, the guy like me who created over unity, you under, understand that what I did is made these into water wheels. So I made a battery water wheel, which means water energy wheel. So it would have, as long as it had a little power, a little power, it would run indefinitely. That's the difference between all this, because if this is just over unity, if this right here it's just over unity, watt meter, no fakes, not taken apart, plugged in the wall. We went through the stats. If that is the watts coming out from the wall to the watts going in to the household, then problem solved or it's debunked. Step up or normal and have been around since Tesla made his 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 device to step up power. Okay? So these devices have been around forever. I'm trying to tell you that definition of over unity of just having more power out than in is debunked. Period. Is that's been possible from the end of time to now. I'm trying to tell you it is so common it's not even thing. There's so many apparatuses out there that can give you more power out than in. But then you have to understand, is it watts? See the W there? Is it watts? Watts in and watts out? Why do you think I picked that guy to tell you, hey, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He just gets views because you got some people who will fall for anything. So I just took the common holes things and say, what? Well, look, this common household apparatus and says, OK, then I showed you what people write into me for once and says, look, man, you're just showing meters. <laughs> what else do you want to show? OK. What else are you going to show if you're not going to show the meters? Now show me your meters. Come on, we're waiting. Where's your meters? And I wrote too many of them. And they will never show you the what's in and what's out. Because everything that they're saying about over unity, they don't know how to do. They don't know what they're doing. And then when I show them with common household things that they can easily go get because these this is cheap. This is this whole apparatus right here is cheap. This is cheap. OK, the batteries may not be so cheap, but this gadget right here, that's cheap. This right here is cheap. You can go buy these in all kind of various way because someone's like, well, I don't like that one. I got a better one. It doesn't matter which one you use. It's going to be the same. The reason why I can run this because it's 10 watts 
is because as you can see, if you times 12.0 times this in amps, that's 0.63, take it to high amps, and you times it, you're going to get that right there. How many times can you do it? But this step up allows you to take a low voltage to a high voltage. Is that the secret of over unity or has it been debunked? This is not over unity. It's just a simple step up. And guess what? I'm When I, so I put this voltage, this right here, that right there into this battery, then I get my amps back because of the chemical makeup. I get my amps back. Oh, wow. That's over unity. And I says, well, dude, it's very close, but no. First of all, the reason why it's close is because this is going into the grid and this is going out of the grid. So guess what? This 105 or 106 watts is now powering this by easily, by far, but it's, it's powering this. Okay? So this over here, this tie grid over here, wow, that's just this extra energy because we're putting energy in here that both this one right here and this one right here being over 200 watts. Come on, dude, do the math. And they hate this because they didn't want you to know that as we start to build devices like this better, and we talking about DC to DC, not AC, because they love to make AC, okay? Make it DC to DC and take low voltage and turn it to high voltage and then sell that on the market. And then guess what? They're going to lose millions of dollars. Millions of dollars just doing that simple old thing. And everybody wants to call that over unity, but it's not. Over unity has to do of changing these batteries into a unit that will charge and discharge continuously and for indefinitely. Nothing lasts forever, so it's not perpetual. That's what perpetual means. Last forever, and not even suns last forever. So these things right here will run until they break down or the chemistry dries up or they just don't function anymore. That could be 50 years or more. But the whole point is is that you can take energy into this and, and the equal energy out of this. So, how, we, how do we do? We're going to take 12 volts. Okay, but because the batteries operate at this level, we're taking 12 volts. So, it's not equal. But once we get it up to this equal, we say we can put 48 volts into these batteries and then take 48 volts out of these batteries. Now, if I do another step up before I do that and they have another set of batteries, I can even get a higher boost, which Tesla called amplification. Go back and look at his, uh, not California, but um, Colorado experiments. In the back, you'll see uh, capacitors and in the front, you'll see his batteries. This is the secret. OK, this is the things that I'm putting in my book. And I says, this is amplification, but it's not over unity. Okay. So when you do a full cycle, that means a full wraparound, which this is doing. Okay. Then you understand what's the difference between this one. I'm not alternating anything back and forth. So the definition of over unity is alternating DC current. This is just straightforward, just to prove my point that this is not over unity. And anybody who shows you how to step energy up and even store it in the batteries, which they've never told you about storing it into a battery, 
can achieve this versus let's turn on the black light this this is very common thanks and uh, sorry for debunking everybody's theory about over unity so we can get to the nitty gritty of what real over unity is my next video will probably be talking about the rules of over unity maybe or maybe not not making any promises but that's where i'm headed i'll see you in the next video